All right, uh, next guy coming to the stage comes to us all the way from Leeds, United Kingdom. Put your hands together for Matt Fong right here. Everybody clap your hands together for Matt as he makes his way up here. called The Shoe Show, right? And if you think that the comedian isn't good enough, you take off your shoe and you throw that bucket at him. <laughs> so if you're a shit comedian, right, what I'm saying is you better be like George Bush Jr. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention that uh, you lose the shoe. <laughs> I'm just hoping when I go back to England, the cold just sucks them back up, do you know what I mean? I don't want to have six-year-old balls for the rest of my life. I don't know. I uh, went to the Golden Corral for the first time. Yeah, Golden Corral, as much meat as you can eat, yeah! I had 14 plates, right? I had so much fucking meat, I got bunged up. I got constipated. I, I, like, I didn't have a food baby, I had food triplets. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to go to Walgreens and get some like x lax or something. But I didn't, I just stopped off at Taco Bell and that shit just fucking <laughs> flew out. I was like, oh, oh, get me some of that, you know? Woo! I fucking love the food over here, like the, the food size will feel like feed a family, it's great. You know? Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Like, being a half Chinese in this industry is great, um, you know, because it, like, it's culturally diverse. And like, over in England, being like the BBC and stuff like that, they look for culturally diverse people. Now, I know that I'm culturally diverse because in job application form, under ethnicity, I write Jinglish. <laughs> it confuses the fuck out of some people. I, I, I explained how I got it for the guys at the bar. What I did was, okay, I got the word Chinese, uh-huh, and the word English, and then I just smash them together, uh, which is exactly how I was made. So, uh, <laughs> like when my parents first got together, it wasn't the done thing to date outside of your ethnic group. And uh, just looking around the room, uh, it's not made it to Orlando. Okay, <laughs> you can. Um, like there was one thing that united both my Chinese and my English family. Uh, and that was the humble cup of tea. Yeah, they both got mad for tea, right? There was a couple of differences, though. Uh, my English granddad, Bob Alcock, he would have his tea. It's just a name, mate. Right, calm down. Just a name. He would have his tea with milk and sugar. Pretty standard, right? Whereas my Chinese granddad, Long Gong Kwang, he would have his with rice and ramen noodles. And a couple of the smart guys in the room noticed Long Gong, not his name, no. He has just been dead a while. That is how I remember him being dead. Uh, yeah. So I do this uh, for a living, uh, which is uh, why I know that my job is better than yours, because uh, I'm on holiday and doing this shit for free. Uh, so, yeah, it's good. Uh, I would tell you, I uh, uh, was at, uh, in London at the start of the year doing an audition for the CFF, which is the Chinese Film Federation. And uh, at the audition, I got given a script to read. And uh, the script went like this. Hello and welcome to the Chinese Film Federation 2019, which is where the lady interviewed me. She, uh, she stopped me and she said, uh, Matt, that was great. Can you do it again? Uh, this time in Chinese. Uh, and I went, hello and welcome to the Chinese Film Federation 2019. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm waiting on the floor back. So uh, yeah, that's my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.